Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tyler here on Mario Power 55 and today I'm bringing you guys a new video. Today I want to show you guys how to make a custom Mario Kart Wii BRCM. And so what a BRCM is, the song file in Mario Kart Wii. Or any Wii game. And so a BRCM plays on like all the Mario Kart tracks. And so there's this thing called multi-channel BRCM. A multi-channel is for a track that has multiple sound channels. Like Wario's Goldmine, Toad's Factory. That's I'll leave that for another video. But today I'm showing you guys how to make a regular BRCM for tracks like Luigi's Circuit, uh, Peach Beach, just regular tracks. And uh, I should say that there's only multi-channel BRCMs in the Wii tracks, not the retros. So all the retros are normal, regular BRCM. Anyway, to start out, you need a few files make a BRCM. You need a music editing program and you can use like Adobe Audition. That's what a lot of people use. But what I use is Audacity. Audacity is free and in my opinion the best uh, music editing program out there. So you have that Audacity. You have your mp3 file, go on a YouTube mp3 converter website and download a YouTube video. That's what I usually do. So I picked the Devoted from Super Smash Bros Ultimate and Fire Emblem. So that's the song I chose. And now you need Brawlbox. Brawlbox pretty much helps you convert the, the WAV file that you export from Audacity because Brawlbox can only read WAV files. And then you have your Revo cart. BRSAR, which you will need later is important. You need to patch your Revo card. And so you need to get patched that BRCR. And I can ex explain that like when the time comes, you know. So you need these later, but you can get your Revo cart from the internet or your Mario Kart Wii ISO. If you don't have a Mario Kart Wii ISO, you can just download one from the internet. Anyway, now let's move on and start making the BRCM. First you go to Audacity. Full screen it open, you open up your your mp3 file, open that up, and now in Audacity, well you have to raise the volume, you uh, click right there to select the whole song, you raise your volume, and why, the reason why you raise the volume of each song that you choose is because in each track, Mario Kart Wii track, there's ambient noises, hazards, and yeah pretty much and so those noises overpower the song so you need to overpower the song so you can actually hear your brcm so since this song is already pretty loud to begin with you don't need to uh, make it that loud so i made it 4.1 so loud clipping hit okay so after you raise the volume you go to export audio for this tutorial i'm just going to export to my desktop but usually you like to go organize your files a little bit more and make like a song folder and all that you can do that on your own time but anyway for this tutorial I want to just export to the desktop so let's you name it the same thing but a shorter version so I'm just going to say uh, devote it because it's you know the fire emblem music so you hit okay now what I like to do is that was for the laps one and two. And so now you need to make a final lap. So the final lap is the same song, but faster. So you select the song, effect, and go to change tempo. I like to keep it at 25. So this song is much faster and you can obviously tell it's lap three. So you just do the same thing, export audio, and now you name it the same thing you named it for the 1 and 2, but say fast. So you can organize your files a little bit. You can tell which one is which. You can exit out of Audacity one. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to minimize that. And so now you have the two music files. Now you go in the Brawl Box, hit File, New, and then 
the URSM audio stream. Uh, you find lap 1 and 2, open that, you hit loop. Make sure you always hit loop. Looping the music is really, really important. So if you don't loop the track, the music will cut off after the song. So you hit enable looping, hit OK. Now it's making the BRCM. Here's your BRCM. I hit loop again to make sure. Hit file, save as. Because if you, if you just exit out of Brawlbox, nothing will actually happen. So you save as, name it as Devoted, and then right here, click this drop menu and go to BRCM Audio. So now it's a BRCM file. So this is why I like when I name a song, you need to actually go name it the BRCM file for the track. So I picked N64 Bowser's Castle. I usually go to this website right here, MK Boards, and I go to this thread. Uh, all you have to do is type in SZS file list, and this should be the top website. Anyway, go down to music. So this is all the BRCM files in the game. Uh, you go down to N64 Bowser's Castle right here. Uh, see how the name is R underscore 64 underscore Koopa 32 underscore N. So you have that copy. Now you go to this, hit uh, paste right here, and it should be desktop, there we go. You can just exit out of that, so that's laps 1 and 2. Now you can do the same thing pretty much for the final lap. Hit this, Brawlbox, File, New, BRCM Audio Stream. Now this is when naming it fast comes into play. So you can tell which one is which. So click this, hit loop again, hit OK, hit loop again, file, save as, and you should just be able to say paste and have the same thing, but instead of N, you hit F for final lap. So yeah, you change that to BRCM, now it's a BRCM file. Hit save, and there you go, you have your two. BRCM files. This one obviously is for laps 1 and 2, and this one the final lap. Because N and F. Now, what I want to do next is raise the volume even more, and I like to do this just to double check. A lot of people don't actually know that you can actually do this, so you go to Brawlbox again, and you can raise the volume level in Brawlbox. So now you go open and you open the Revo cart. So you have all the sounds in the game. Go to STRM for all the track names. All right, here we go. Um, let me find, okay, Retro right here, 64. Go to Koopa. And now you have the normal and final lap. And you see the volume right here is 103. So with Audacity, you, you raise the volume, and sometimes that's not enough to overpower the ambient noises in the track. So you can max it out by saying 255. That's an overkill, but it usually works out. And since this song is a pretty decently loud song to begin with, pretty much in Mario Kart Wii, as loud as possible is the best. So it's as loud as possible without it sounding really bad. So it's clear, should be really clear, crisp. And now you go to the final lap, 255 again. And that's all you need to do to raise the volume of each track in the game. So you file, save, of course, yeah, save. Now bring up your SD card. Uh, I have mine right here. Let's go to the root. Okay, so and I'm using Custom Track Grand Prix. Hit Custom Track Grand Prix. My Stuff. This is your My Stuff folder. Your My Stuff folder is where you put all of your BRCMs, SZS files, and all that. So you put them all right here. And on Custom Track Grand Prix, you can go to Settings and Enable My Stuff. Anyway, you take these two files, you put them right here, and you take the Revo cart. You put them right here. That might take a little bit. 
So now you have the Revo cart right here and the BRCM files that you need for the game. Alright, so now you patch your BRCR by dragging this over patch that BRCR. Successfully patch 111 BRCM entries. Now each song should be looping the game. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You go to your Wii and test out the song. Usually, if you don't raise the volume in Brawl Box, you need to keep on going back and forth, back and forth, making all the songs as loud as possible. If you make each song in the game to volume 255, it should not matter. The song should be perfect. So now let's go with my Wii. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The BRCM was overpowering, it sounded clear, crisp, and it also looped as you could probably hear in the video. That's it, that's how you make a Mario Kart Wii BRCM. And the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a multi-channel one, so stay tuned for that. It's really, really easy, as easy as making a normal BRCM. I really do appreciate all the recent support in my videos and I'm going to keep on uploading more packs. I'm going to try to make a Discord in, um, in a few weeks or so. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching the video and I'm out. Peace.